on a previous video I put these two panels in parallel that failed spectacularly on that power station causing me to melt the port and all that jazz but that is not what this video is about I've been told by at least two separate people that the Pecron is not doing well with panels in series. So let's see if we could give this a test. Now we will be trying to use the Renogy as somewhat of a control, but let's see how much this is getting just right now. It's getting about 76, so a little bit more than 10%. So we should see about double that, right? All right, let's do it. Uh, I'm getting 121. If this one is getting 60 to 70 in here, then that's about right. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> this joker got full on me. Son of a blues player. Okay, we got to take some power off of here. God dog it, the plot thickens. So I grabbed my dehumidifier because that's the only thing I really have that can pull some power out without, you know, <laughs> taking forever, I should say. All right, it's been about five minutes, so let's go in here and see what's what. I actually bought this in here because this is what we have this for, so might as well use its power while um yeah you know i mean <laughs> 71 watts i mean you know 67. now granted keep in mind i don't necessarily trust this one's mppt <laughs> charge controller it seems to underperform but let's just call it 75. 75 plus 75 is 150. so right now those particular panels are performing well compared to what i'm getting over here they're getting double and it's two panels the only other thing that's left to test is what I would get on a sunny day. The good Lord done blessed us with a little bit of sun. Nothing crazy, but it's enough to get another sample of videos to compare. I just wanted to give a quick update. Um, right now, these panels were in series going into the Pecron, which was a bit of a nightmare. Um, <laughs> the first aspect of the nightmare is, it's too much power coming in. Not in that it couldn't handle it, but I had to basically power dump in an extreme fashion. Then all of a sudden it just stopped working. I don't know why it stopped working, but right now I have put these panels back into parallel. I put these covers over there to stop sun output. It's not really a bright day anyway, so I don't think I should have too much power kind of flowing through the plug. I'm really concerned about whether or not these um, ports were arcing and that's what caused the problem. That was a theory that um, Setite had, but now, they're back into parallel, going into the Duran Duran. And if I break the Duran Duran, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> it is a 10 gauge cable, 50 foot. The, the Duran Duran is rated for, um, I'm sorry, there's no lights in here. It's rated for 20 amps according to his documentation. It will never get 20 amps. It's probably at the best, at the most gonna get about 14, 12, 13. Something like that. So I shouldn't have any problems here. So I'm about to plug it in. Let me get some light. So now it is plugged in. The joints are all still an overcast day. Should get about 10% output. So it's getting 137 watts. So about five amps. And then we're still getting 130, 140, 140 watts. Now let's make sure the Pecron is not broken. So the Pecron is connected to the Renogy. You can see it's pulling 72 watts which makes sense because the other one is getting about double. And to be honest with you, I was a little bit concerned about, um, this is now merging into multiple videos. I was a little bit concerned about the series output. I actually just watched Minuteman Prep's uh, review of this device and he had an issue with putting panels in series. And I think the reason why I didn't run into an issue is because of the low amp output. And now I'm just gonna have this be the single outlier getting in from the Renogy because I really don't want to have or go back to having three panels on three different power stations with three different sets of cables coming in. It was a bit of a, a mess. So now I only have two. I'm going to end it here. It's I've Hollow.